Hey guys, so today I figured I would show you guys what I'm eating today and I wanted to start off by showing you this tofu scramble that I've been making. This breakfast is so filling, it's so good and I actually got the idea from High Carb Hannah. I'll leave her YouTube channel down below. I love her recipes because they're super easy to follow. They're all vegan, plant-based. So check out her channel because I love her. But I wanted to show you guys how I do it. It's so easy and I love it. So I'm gonna make some breakfast now for me and Hector. It's actually pretty late, it's like 11.30, but let's do it. Okay, so this is the stuff that you're going to need. Of course, your tofu. This one's just the firm one from Nature's Promise. It doesn't really matter what brand as long as it's just firm tofu. I always like to add some greens, so I'm gonna be using some spinach and a little bit of kale that we have left over. Peppers and onions, because I'm gonna saute these on the pan, the potatoes, and I like to add the peppers and onions. These are just potatoes from yesterday that I showed you guys from Wegmans, but typically I will just cut up regular, like organic potatoes. And I usually just leave the skin on because I love the skin on the potato, and then I'll just fry them on the pan. But I'm gonna just warm these up basically and saute them with the peppers and onions. And this is not for me, but Hector does like cheese on his tofu, so I'm gonna just use this Daya mozzarella, but I'm gonna just skip out on that. And I'm gonna show you guys seasonings and stuff as well. Well. Okay, and I'm not wearing a bra, so no judgments here. So I'm just gonna spray the pan with this avocado spray oil. I got this from Whole Foods. And let's turn on the light, there we go. So I'm actually gonna cut these potatoes up into smaller cubes, just like really tiny. And typically this is what I would do if I would just cut like a regular potato anyway and then just put it on the pan. It usually takes for an uncooked potato, like 15 minutes for them to get a little bit soft. It's gonna add the potatoes. I'm gonna cook these on low heat just because they're already cooked. And I'm gonna add my peppers and onions, a couple pieces in here just for more flavor. Usually on my potatoes, I'll just add some pepper and I love using this adobo. You can get this at any grocery store in the, I forget, what I don't know what section. It's, there's like a Goya section at a lot of my grocery stores and Walmart even has this as well. It's a really great seasoning and it's like an all-purpose seasoning. I'm vlogging. Yes. I hate you. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit in here for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna get the tofu ready and I just put the lid over top. Heat is on low. Okay, so I'm not gonna use all of the tofu. I typically maybe will use half of it. So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a block of cheese. Okay, let's just do a little bit more than half and I'm gonna save this other piece. And I'm literally going to take pieces of the tofu and crumble it onto the bowl and it's going to mimic the way scrambled eggs look. So I just pick it apart, just like that. Now for the seasonings, you're gonna need some turmeric just to give it sort of like that yellowy scrambled egg look. I just got this one from Nature's Promise. I'm gonna just kind of wing it. I don't really measure, I just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of black pepper. And then again, I'm gonna use my adobo. This is just the best seasoning for literally anything. And then I'm just gonna take my spoon and just mix it all around. So I just cook everything on the same pan. Just kind of move it to the side a little bit. And that is what it looks like. The tofu usually maybe takes five or 10 minutes, not very long. I'm gonna put up the heat a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna add my spinach. Yeah. 
Yum. All right, so I just added the cheese to Hector's eggs. I'm about to toast some toast. <laughs> And I'm going to have just one piece. I'm going to use the Nature's Own Whole Grain Bread. And then just for a spread over top, I'm using this avocado oil buttery spread. I actually got this at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it says low battery. <laughs> Yum. Alrighty, so it's around 2 o'clock right now. I'm having just this afternoon snack, some grapes, some blackberries, some water, and I'm about to reply to a bunch of new YouTube comments. So we are back in the kitchen. I was replying to a ton of comments, and I'm getting hungry now. It's almost 4 o'clock, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. So me and Hector are going to split a quesadilla. I got this idea from Amy Macedo. She does a lot of what I eat in a days, and... I love watching people's what I eat in a day because I get inspo for my meals. So I will leave her a channel down below. I'm pretty sure you guys know who she is though, but love her what I eat in a day. So we actually found these wraps at our local grocery store, Giant, and they only have 60 calories. And that's really low for wraps like this. Usually these have even like 200 calories. So I was really excited to find these. So I got the spinach ones and then I also like just the original ones. They just look like this. And then these are also really good as well. These are the tomato basil wraps. And these actually have 70 calories in them, but they're all under 100, which is crazy. So it's really easy. And what's really good about quesadillas is you can really add whatever you want to them. And it's just so easy. Okay, so I have some chicken here that I actually made like a few days ago. It's just from the Garden brand. It looks like this. I seasoned it and everything. I just used... Actually, I'll show you guys what I used on it. So to season it, I used adobo, of course, black pepper, and I also used some of this seasoning. It's like chicken seasoning. And that was it. I just sauteed it, cooked it on the pan for a little bit, and that was it. So super, super easy. You want to leave the stove on low because you don't want to obviously burn the tortilla. And this is what the size of them looks like. So it's a really good size. It's not too big, which I love. So you have it on here and then you're going to want to add your chicken. You can use obviously any type of meat that you want. That is what it looks like. It literally looks like grilled chicken, but it kind of tastes a little bit sort of like a tofu type of thing it doesn't taste exactly like obviously grilled chicken it tastes like whatever you decide to season it with but i love it it's really really good so i love spinach i always like to incorporate it somehow in my meals and i don't like the way the spinach tastes though when it's like really hot because then it gets really soggy so i usually put it in once the quesadilla is done and I have some leftover beans and corn, which I'm going to add to that. These are just black beans and canned corn. The corn has no sodium in it and the beans are low sodium, which is typically what I always go for. It's super easy. And the best part is like if you're making quesadillas like this, you can obviously make a lot of like grilled chicken or any type of meat that you want to use and then just save it. That way when you go to make this like the next day, it's already just about kind of just putting all the ingredients together. I am also gonna just add some cheese, obviously, because we want it to stick, and it's gonna be a lot easier to flip if you have 
the tortilla kind of sticking together. If you guys have any other like vegan cheese recommendations, let me know. This one is 80 calories for about a fourth of a cup. So we're gonna do a little bit of this, of course. Just sprinkle it right on top. And then we're going to do the cheese. So me and Hector are actually going to split this. So I'm going to do more cheese on one side of it than on the other because he likes a lot of cheese. Right over top. And then I got this trick also from Amy's video. So what she did to really like flatten the quesadilla out is just take a big pot. Obviously make sure it's clean and just put the pot right over top of the tortilla and it kind of just like gives it more of like that quesadilla look to it and it just helps so much so I'm gonna actually raise the heat a little bit and I do about three to four minutes on each side so three minutes flip it three minutes and then it's done so it's super super easy We just woke up from a nap it was like a quick little power nap i never take naps so i actually feel kind of good but i am craving something sweet so i was looking up different like vegan recipes to make ice cream on youtube and i'm gonna just try to come up with something because i don't have all of the ingredients that some of them call for so i'm gonna just make it up and see what happens yeah no first okay okay can i add a little chocolate milk to it yeah. Okay, we have to organize the fridge. So, okay, we're gonna do unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this dark chocolate almond milk. This is really, really good too. If I ever am craving something sweet, I'll just have a small glass of this and it really helps with the sweet tooth. And we're gonna do bananas. We don't have frozen bananas, so we're gonna just do regular bananas and we're gonna add ice. And then we're gonna also add some of this cacao powder. We got this at TJ Maxx, but you can find this on Amazon. We're actually gonna order more. Oh my God, this cacao powder is so good. Hector makes these smoothies with this. He adds spinach, milk, ice. What else do you add to it? That's it, right? Spinach, milk, ice, cocoa powder. Yeah, that's it, and ice. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like a chocolate shake, but I wanna just try this ice cream just because I'm feeling adventurous, but that one's really good as well. Oh, and this cacao powder was only $3. So you can add strawberry or peanut butter. Yeah. Or all of it if you want. Yeah. He did, oh yeah, you did the strawberries the one time and it was good. I'm not a fan of peanut butter. Like I don't, I'm not obsessed with it, so. Okay, we're gonna do one whole banana. I'm totally winging this, you guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. A little bit of the unsweetened, I'm gonna add the chocolate. That is what it looks like. Now we blend and see what happens. Yeah, it's kinda like a, a shake. It's not really ice creamy. Okay, this is a liquid chocolate milk it's good though. it tastes like banana and chocolate we don't have ice cubes so we can't add that um dates. Wow. yeah just dates right now yeah if so maybe another banana too another banana and very true hector thinks i put too much cocoa powder in it or cacao powder i love chocolate so i have to disagree with that honestly i have no idea this is the first time that we ever got dates this is what they look like Pretty interesting. Honestly, I don't know what it really looks like. What? It looks like a turd. I hate you. It looks like a piece of poop. Oh my Seriously, god. Take it out. But. I mean, kind of. They smell like raisins, kind of. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. It's a giant raisin. Or Seriously, that's what it smells like. I giant if, grape. <laughs> I don't think that we have to. I think we could just eat them like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what it looks like? It kind of looks like a cockroach. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just breaking it apart. Oh, that's really sticky. That's really just helps a little bit. Then we could put it in a container and put it in the freezer. That's yeah. what the one girl did. 
All right, yeah, let's do that. And then it makes it like ice cream. Okay, so we just put it into a bowl. We're gonna freeze it. It is so good. The dates helped out a lot with like balancing out the cacao powder and see what it tastes like later. So I'm gonna just get up, go to the gym now. It's like seven, so I know it's probably gonna be packed, but sometimes, honestly though, as much as I don't like working out when it's like super packed, when I see other people working out, like it motivates me so much. So I'm gonna get my ass up, get my water ready, and go to the gym. So I know I'm gonna feel so good afterwards. Yes, watching Jacqueline is so relaxing, oh, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. Gosh, highlight just makes everything so much better. That statement really is true. Having a bad day, you highlight, it gets better. All right, we're about to try this ice cream. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Taste test. Let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, it is. Oh, I could have probably used more. Yeah. It's like the top layer is frozen. Mmm. It's so good. It I tastes like, like bananas and chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, I definitely taste the banana. <laughs> yeah, the top is like frozen and then underneath. It's not gonna focus. Oh yeah. Underneath is like watery still. Your toes in the background, kind of. <laughs> but surgeons should make the list. Avi, Grace. That's great. Episode yeah. six. I just uh, wanted to look over my old surgeon.